Hey everyone. Okay, uh, in this video, I'm going to show you uh, the major and very important module of uh, any billing system, which is firewall. Uh, uh, this new release, uh, was 3000 Web V3.0, has a very uh, secured uh, firewall rules, which can be found under anti-hack system. The first option we have is was anti-hack. Let's go to this option. Okay, if this option is turned off, then you can log in your WAS desktop client from any desktop machine on any internet. But if you'll turn on this option, okay, you cannot access your WAS desktop, desktop client until unless you allow you know current internet IP address from this option from this this button now there are two options to allow the IP address either you can go to your dashboard and simply click on allow access okay once you click that option you see the option is Changed now access granted. Now, now you can open your was desktop client and you can easily log in. Okay, the second option is you can go to anti hack and go to option was anti hack. Here, you can have a detailed view of all IP addresses that you have added. You can simply select all and delete them or you can add them again by clicking on allow IP address so I'll just delete it okay it has been deleted so this is just uh, you know a test server I will you know just stop this option this is not this service is not in production so I don't want to use this option so I'll simply turn it off the next option we have boss firewall let's go there now if you have too much illegal attempts on your server then you can simply turn this option on or uh, you're afraid that your server can be hacked you know then still you can turn turn the, turn uh, turn this option on as soon as you turn on this option you will find this this you know message this message inform you that if you turn on this option all SIP communication communication will be blocked no matter the SIP communication is coming from your customer or sending to your vendor okay if you have turned on this option you must you must and you must entered enter your mapping gateway IP addresses your I mean all mapping gateway IP addresses which you are using or you're not using or you want you are currently not using but you want to use them in future so you want to you know allow all mapping gateway IP addresses in this section similarly all IP addresses belongs to your routing gateway has to be added on this panel so I'll close this section how can you know I can add just by clicking allow IP address button I can uh, for example write uh, a memo test customer mapping IP and I can enter the IP address of that mapping gateway I'll hit submit now I have entered my test customer mapping IP now I will enter test vendor router 
routing IP. I'm just making these IP, IP addresses. These are not real IP addresses. So on this section, uh, on this section, you need to enter the real IP address of your routing gateway or mapping gateway. Hit submit. Now you can see I have successfully added the IP addresses of my mapping and my routing gateways. Okay, the next option we have SIP ports. By default, VOS has opened two SIP ports. It's 5060 and 6060. Now, if this option is turned on, you know, call IP authentication. If this option is, is turned on, all ports which are, you know, added into this section will be blocked by firewall. Okay. Now, here is a scenario. For your mapping and routing gateway, uh, you can enter, you know, uh, their IP addresses in, in calls IP authentication. But let's say if you have a soft phone, uh, this is, uh, I mean, this is obvious. Soft phone can be registered on random IP addresses, which you, you know, you cannot add on every time on your, on your firewall. So what's the best practice? The best practice is to add a, f a, a SIP port. I mean, let's say I'll remove this SIP port on SIP port on firewall. Yeah, okay. When you, you know, make any change, it'll, it'll come back to this, this option. You have to go back. Now, now let's say I have bind one IP address on the firewall. Okay. This is the, uh, sorry, uh, not IP address, the SIP port. I have bind the one SIP port on firewall. Now I will open one SIP port on on open on open open. Now, for example, I have binded one SIP port successfully, which is behind the firewall. Now I can I can you know add one SIP port which is not on the firewall. So I'll click here. I'll make example that I'm going to add 5086 port. Now I'll click submit. Now, you know, if you make any change on the port, you'll see this message. Okay. You must reboot your server in order to make it effective. Okay, I will show you uh, the scenario on, on real system. I'll, 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 you know, register uh, user SIP username and password on soft phone, and I'll, I'll show you how this work behind firewall or not on firewall. So let me uh, pause the video. I'll reboot the server. Okay, uh, but let me do it right now. I'll go to settings, reboot the server. Click OK. Now I will pause the video until you know let the server come up, then I'll start again. OK, the server has been re rebooted successfully. Uh, we'll go to go back to post firewall and then we'll go to SIP ports. OK, now here is the situation we have 5060 port behind the firewall and we have one SIP port. 5086 which is not on the firewall now I will show you a real-time demo on both ports now if I I'll, if I'll use 5060 the SIP phone will not be you know get registered on the server if I will use this port if everything is working fine you know on the server on the firewall using this port I can register the phone so let's go back to phone uh, here is my soft phone, which is IBM. Okay. First of all, I'm going to use SIP port. Okay. Let me make a change uh, just a little bit. Okay. 
now you can see look at this this uh, registering okay soft phone is sending request to the server but server is keep rejecting the uh, the the request because it's the 5060 port is behind the firewall okay so it's it will keep send sending the request but server will keep rejecting the the reject which is received by soft phone so let's now now let's use this port i'll simply copy and i'll add a colon and paste this this port and i'll click apply now you see the soft phone get registered instantly now now you can see the sip port this sip port is being used without firewall if for example uh here is i just show you one example i registered soft phone on sip on 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 sip port which is behind the firewall and using one sip port which is not on the firewall and uh, you, s you could see you could see the uh, the soft phone could register the server similarly you can provide you know this port number to your routing and mapping uh, you know uh, uh, gateway and your customers and your vendors that this is the open SIP port on your sim on your system. No matter if the SIP port, uh, the firewall is on or off, they will be able to send the calls using this port. Now let me do one more test. Let me disable this firewall and let me register the phone on port 5060. I'll click enter and now this time you see it straight away got registered with the server so here we have you know we, we have seen uh, grown we have uh, we have seen all the detailed configuration of uh, you know call ip authentication and support in firewall our next and last part is was client here you can change the uh, default port number of your VOS 3000 desktop client simply click here and enter your required you know port number click submit and your port will be changed automatically so let's conclude this video uh, we have seen uh, this the firewall system which we have on on this new release uh, basically we have three layer firewall system one is boss anti-hack the second is boss firewall in boss firewall we have call ip authentication we have zip port and we have boss client firewall which is based on port so with this section or uh, session we have uh, to end this video see you on next tutorial bye bye